Hello booktube, my name is Kate and this is my channel Chapter Kate. Today I'm going to be showing you my little creative space and I'm going to be reviewing a beautiful lamp for you. There was a day I had off from work and so what I did is I took this little cove that we have at our apartment and I completely sort of redid it so that way I can actually use it. Um, so the cove kind of became this sort of place where we put all the documents that needed to be shredded <laughs> and also all the dog toys and just anything that we didn't have a place for we sort of put it in this cove. And so I put a curtain up at some point because I was like, I don't want to see this, it's ugly. But then recently I was like, I would really like to use that. So what I did is I took a whole day, I shredded stuff, I cleaned up stuff, I put stuff up to decorate, and then came out with something pretty great. So now here's my little entrance here. I have my little TBR machine, of course, and then I have this little curtain. This is the curtain I already had up, and then I had these little, these little jinglies I got in Asheville one day, and I just wanted them on the curtain so that way every time I walked through it would sound magical. But yeah. Okay, so here is my little work creativity nook thing. So over here I just have my light switch which I decorated with washi tape. I'm trying to light on so you can sort of see different lighting. Just did different types of washi tape here. And then I just have the C for Kate, or chapter Kate, or my last name, which also starts with a C. And then I have these little mushrooms, which I believe this was my great-grandmother's. She had this one and she has another one um, that my mom has, actually. And over here I have a little tapestry of Mount Fuji that I got at a store in New York during BookCon. I have a picture of my little family, me, Sarah, and Leah. And then I have pictures of me and Anjanette. She's been in a couple of videos on my channel um, as well. She works with me. And then I have my big elephant tapestry. I got this in Asheville, North Carolina, like several years ago, but it was with me all through college. And I have little fairy lights draped behind it and around it in here. Um, and the type of fairy lights I have actually have this little remote with them, which I can I can make it where that where they flash or whatever. But it's also really easy just to turn them off and on this way. And I have these three pictures from BookCon. This one is from the pin meetup that I hosted, and this one is as well. And then this picture is just a large group photo that we took at BookCon. So I have all three of those on this side. And then on my little windowsill, I have a little window that looks out. Um, it's, I'm in an apartment, so I can see my apartment pool out there. Um, but then if I just look right here, I have my Mostly Decent Vibes embroidery thing here I got in Asheville have my three fake succulents because I can't keep plants alive and then I have my little rise plaque that I made at work one time with my patients it's just pieces of magazine cut out and um, put on a painted little plaque with some Mod Podge over it this plaque actually was kind of ruined so I just made it into something and then on my desk I keep scrapbooking paper and also photos and things over here and like scraps and then I have my little gold dust figurine <laughs> and then I have computer paper black paper and then um, these sort of bullet journal graph paper lined paper inserts set for a planner that I had but now I use them for bullet journal and then of course I have my bullet journal I have my thing of different colored pens and a mug that I got from the strand book box I have my lamp sent to me by Ben Q which I'll do a quick review for at the end of this video I have my laptop. Over here are a bunch of notebooks because I have a notebook buying problem. And then I have this little one thing that's actually, we bought it to keep up with different mail and stuff, but then we never used it. So it's just on my desk now. And I have just different types of stickers in this top section. Um, this is a bunch of space themed washi tape. A little tin that I haven't figured out what to do with yet. Postcards. This drawer's got different study note cards in it. This one has different types of tape and things and then I just have different stuff here with different types of stickers and spare paper and rollers and then gel pens, markers, two other little notebooks um, and then some other materials down here. I actually keep these two tins back here as well. This one has a bunch of different types of washi tape which I need to upgrade into a bigger tin and then this one has some mini little stamps in it. And right now I just have this bench in here. It's actually from our table. We have a three-sided table and it has three of these benches. So this is the one that was in the back. But I'm hoping to get a little chair in here. And then I just have my stool over here, which I don't know what I'm going to put on it 
quite yet. I'll probably just put like a stack of books on it. Now I'm going to insert a quick review of this reading lamp that I received from BenQ. This is actually the BenQ e-reading lamp. You can kind of tell how big the box is compared to my computer. It's a really, really big lamp. I wasn't expecting it to be so big, um, but I actually like it. I like it a lot. So I did receive this lamp for free, but it is not going to influence my review. Now let's close this so we can get a better look. You can kind of see that it has this base right here. Um, this base is super, super heavy, which it needs to be because the lamp is so large, it keeps it, you know, down and safe so it doesn't, you know, fall over. Um, it has sort of a bendable arm. You can adjust this however you want. See, you can do that. This turns right here. This can be turned as well, but you know, this little joint right here and this is also kind of stiff, which helps it you know stay in place but you just have to kind of use two hands to move this because otherwise it'll slide right here so it's really easy to assemble i actually just took it off so this thing right here it's just an arm and it just goes on a little silver peg right there which i'm going to be doing it with one hand which is not super great idea but that's how easy it is see um, and then it has this you know cable with the string around it so it doesn't get tangled or anything Mine is silver, but I believe it comes in a few different colors, which is good if you want to personalize it. Um, I probably would have picked a different color, maybe, but I don't know. I kind of like the silver now. It's grown on me. One really good thing about this lamp is that it's supposed to be really good for your eyes. I don't know if you have seen my video, but back in the day when I first made my channel, I made a video about my eyes. I have convergence insufficiency, which makes it sort of hard to combine pictures. And also, um, sometimes certain lightings can be really agitating for my eyes. If you move up here, you can see this little silver knob thing, and it's actually a touch lamp. So, see? I remember when I was little and I first discovered touch lamps, I would go everywhere and touch all the lamps, hoping that they were all touch lamps. So when I found out that this is one of those, I got really, really excited. So I'll just sit there doing this for a while. Um, but it's really nice because I prefer more warm lighting than, like, white lighting. And I can adjust the brightness level with this little knob right here. See it? And just the brightness level and then if I press it it kind of adjusts to the light in my surroundings um, but also allows me to adjust like the temperature of the light so you can see it's more white or bluish light and then I can make it more warm light and I love warm light so that kind of helps so I've actually been primarily using this at work um, and I had to take it back home my office mate is going to be so sad if I don't bring this back because she loves to sit in like the dark <laughs> so we'll put this on there with our little warm setting and it's not so bright and it's really nice for our eyes but I'm also gonna have a really hard time taking it back from being in here because it's just really great for in here also the way that it's curved right here provides sort of a wider range of lighting which can be super super helpful the only qualms I have with the lamp is that it's super, super heavy to carry around, but it has to be because it's so big that if that thing wasn't so heavy, it would not be quite as stable. But I'm going to put all the information for this lamp in the description if you're interested in purchasing it. It will all be there. Okay, so here is my little work creativity nook thing. 